If you've been looking for a healthier breakfast or snack option and haven't tried chia seed pudding yet, then you, my friend, are going to be pleasantly surprised. With just three simple ingredients, less than 10 minutes of prep work, then you can have a superfood ready to enjoy any time that you need a quick bite. Hey there, I'm Lena Brazil, and you are watching Evolving Table. We make healthier spins on classic recipes and sometimes just make really healthy recipes. Like today with this chia seed pudding. One serving packs in six grams of protein, eight grams of fiber, and tons of antioxidants and omega-3s. I'll be going over the basic three ingredient formula with an optional fourth ingredient. And I'll also be showing you four different flavors that you can choose from. A lemon blueberry, a banana nut, a chocolate raspberry, and a peanut butter and jelly. You can also get creative and come up with whatever combination of flavors you'd like. All right, are you ready? Let's jump straight in and get to mixing. The first ingredient in our chia seed pudding recipe is of course, chia seeds. You'll need half a cup of these to make four servings or two tablespoons for an individual sized portion. If you're unfamiliar with chia seeds, they have this incredible capability of soaking up liquid and turning into a gelatinous substance. While black chia seeds are more readily available, white chia seeds taste extremely similar and boast pretty comparable nutritional value. I'll be using black chia seeds today, but feel free to use whichever kind is easiest to find. The next ingredient you'll need is some type of liquid. You'll need two cups of liquid to make four servings or half of a cup for an individual sized portion. The most common type of liquid to use is milk, either regular, oat milk, a nut-based milk, or even coconut milk. If you'd like to really lower the calories, you can also choose to use water. Fruit juice, such as orange or apple juice, is another great option, but it does contain quite a bit more sugar that you'll want to be aware of. The third ingredient is some type of sweetener. Anywhere from two to four tablespoons is needed for four servings, or about two to three teaspoons for an individual sized portion. This amount will largely depend on your personal preference, so you may have to taste and see. Common sweeteners to use are honey, pure maple syrup, or agave nectar. Monk fruit extract or stevia leaf extract can be used if you're really wanting to limit your sugar intake. And now for the last optional ingredient, vanilla extract. You don't have to add this, but just a teaspoon goes a long way when you're making the bigger batch. Add one fourth of a teaspoon if you're making an individual sized portion. Now that you know the ingredients, let's dive into how to make the pudding. There are some really important steps you'll wanna follow to make sure that you get the perfect consistency and don't end up with a clumpy mess. If you're making a batch of four puddings, you'll wanna grab a large bowl with a spout or a large measuring cup. You can also just mix it together in a bowl and then transfer it to a smaller measuring cup if that's all you have. For an individual sized portion, you can just mix it together in the jar you'll be storing it in. For the larger batch, you'll want to first whisk together two cups of milk, the sweetener, I'm using two tablespoons of honey, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. If you're making the chocolate chia pudding, you'll want to also mix in one fourth cup of cocoa powder and another tablespoon or two of sweetener to help counteract the bitterness from the powder. If you're making the banana nut, you'll also want to mix in one teaspoon of ground cinnamon at this point. Next, stir in half a cup of chia seeds. Once they're incorporated, let them sit for a few minutes and then give them a good stir. As you'll notice, they've already started turning into a gel. Wait another five minutes or so and give them one last stir to prevent clumping. Transfer the chia seed pudding to four six ounce glass jars or mason jars. See, this is where that spout really comes in handy. Refrigerate them for at least two hours or up to overnight. While you can enjoy them after two hours, their consistency gets even better if they've soaked for at least four. Now on to all of the yummy toppings. And as I mentioned earlier, feel free to switch and change these up to use whatever combination of flavors you'd like. 
First, we've got the lemon blueberry. Add 1 fourth cup of blueberries to a small bowl and heat it in the microwave for about 30 seconds or until the berries begin to burst. Give them a quick mash with a fork and then add them to the top of the chia pudding along with a pinch or two of fresh lemon zest. Next, we've got the banana nut. If you didn't already, you'll want to make sure to stir in 1 4th teaspoon of cinnamon into each jar and then top with about 6 to 8 slices of banana and 1 tablespoon of toasted pecans or walnuts. Now for the hubby's favorite, the chocolate raspberry. You should have already mixed in 1 tablespoon of cocoa powder for each serving. So now all you have to do is top it with a few raspberries and a sprinkle of shredded coconut. And last but not least, and maybe my favorite of the bunch, the peanut butter and jelly. Add one tablespoon of peanut or any other nut butter of choice and one tablespoon of grape or a strawberry jelly or jam. Mm. PB&J totally still has my vote, but I'd have to say the banana nut is a really close second. What about you? Which flavor are you gonna try out first? Let me know in the comments. And if you want a few more early morning ideas, make sure you check out these other healthy breakfast recipes. Thanks so much for hanging out. I'll see you in the next one. Mm. Got a little jelly left over. Mm. So good.